Welcome to a video about the herdsman's hut at Hutton Town. So if we just go through the gate into the patio, um, first thing we see is a little table and chairs which we were sitting out early this morning and bearing in mind it's now what, four o'clock in the afternoon you can see we still get the sun and the sun pretty much stays here all day. Um, this is a very much a personal tour because we we actually stayed in the barn last night to see how it was and I have to say our first impressions when you come here is, uh, just going up three steps to get in, is how spacious the barn is. It is actually very spacious and comfortable. Um, so if we start at this end and turn around and there's a very large table, you could quite easily get four people around that table, although obviously this hut is only um, designed for, uh, for two people. Um, and the way it, uh, it converts at night is very clever, the table folds up and the bed just pulls out uh, quite easily uh, to reveal a full size, very comfortable double mattress. Um, should also note there's plenty of space, storage space, you've got not only storage um, pockets up the side, but you have a storage bin under the seat on this side and similarly on the other side. And if you turn around uh, past the TV, we see the kitchen. Again, lots of storage space. Uh, one of those cupboards, the centre one, is um, is a fridge with a little ice box. Um, up above, more more cupboards. Uh, some with crockery, but two empty for for your own food and storage. Um, and then we come along to a uh, a nef hob and a combination. Uh, oven, grill and microwave, also from Neff. Uh, just panning back for a second, over here there's a, a log burning stove, um, which we didn't need last night, partly because the f there's underfloor heating, so we were nice and toasty in here. Moving down inside, this is a, a clothes cupboard, so there's space for uh, hanging clothes and some shelves, uh, and also a, a half-length mirror for um, for your own use. We close the, the open this door, um, and we go into the the very spacious ensuite facility. Uh, plenty of room to turn round, um, and if we turn around this way, there's actually a a very sizable shower, power shower, um, with with plenty of room to get in that. So. This is very comfortable and spacious um, for people and dogs in here. Um, if we move out then to, to see the, the site, so this is the view from the hut. Um, that way is, uh, there's a road up the top there but I can't say we've heard any traffic at all. Um, and way down that way, right down into the distance, there's a railway line and you do occasionally hear your train rumbling in the distance. but just in the background. Sizeable patio, especially for, let's say, two people and any number of dogs, I would think. Um, and outside we have a little storage cupboard uh, where you can hang wet coats, um, put shoes, boots. Uh, there's also some, some dog facilities in here. There's the dog towels, um, some tennis balls, bowl, uh, poo bags and things like that. And I should say the the facilities here are added to by a utilities hut which is all of um, 30 seconds walk away where there's a, a freezer, a washing machine and tumble dryer and dog washing facilities. So this is the new luxury specially designed shepherd's hut um, which we've called the herdsman's hut at Hutton Hound.